much for tuning in. If you haven't already gone ahead and clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. I promise you won't regret it. And once you've done that, come join me on this fun journey as we transform this dresser and give it a great facelift. Now that you've gone ahead and clicked that subscribe button, um, first things first, we gotta change out of these clothes into something we really don't care about. So. Okay, so now that I have gone ahead and changed into something a little bit more appropriate, a little bit less that I care about, let's go ahead and get started on this dresser. So, of course, first and foremost, we went ahead and we took out the handles here. We went ahead and took those out off camera because Honestly, the screwdriver we were working with, I could not handle it. Um, my boyfriend is actively nodding in the background. He had to take out every single one of these. It was a whole mess. You didn't want to see that on camera, or maybe you did. But anyway, um, now that we've taken those off, the first thing that we're gonna start off with here is we're actually going to sand this down um, because right now it actually has that kind of, you know, like vinyl texture of some sorts there. So we want to actually get it down to its base so that when we put the primer on, it'll actually connect with it and it's not just, you know, sitting on top there. So I'm going to go ahead and get my sander. Um, and then once I get that, we'll get into sanding on this. All right. So I've gotten my handy dandy sander now um, and I'm just going to start on the top. Just kind of working it, um, making sure that I get all of this um, off here um, and just, you know, sanding away. So it's going to be a little loud. So just bear with me here. <laughs> to then get some primer on it. That's gonna be our first coat um, before we put the paint on it. So let me put this aside here. I'm gonna grab just some simple like water, uh, not anything like too crazy there and just good old paper towel. So let's 
gonna dip that in there. Just get to wipe them. Don't worry, we did definitely scrub this bad boy down. So now we're gonna move on to priming. So like I said, primer is just gonna be your top coat. Um, and so this is the one that I got. It's just your generic one from Walmart. Honestly, I got most of these things from Walmart because Walmart's inexpensive and right up the street. So we're gonna be using this one. And so when it comes to your primers, typically they're just going to be a nice um, base color. Um, this one I've actually never used before, so it is pretty white. I'm thinking that maybe it'll, once I start painting it on, be a little bit translucent, but either way, um, I'm gonna put this one on first and then we'll move to the paint. So let me grab some paint brushes and just some area where I can pour this out so I can easily get to it. I'm going to switch to a roller because I'm getting a really handy cramp here. I'm going to finish up all of this, um, probably more so off camera there, just in case I make any oopsies, which I probably will. So <laughs> I'll catch you guys back here in a second. 
in a flash quickly. Um, and then we'll open that thing. Okay, so we got it primed out. It's looking great. It actually did kind of stay white. It's still clearing out as it dries, but very good primer that we did. I give us a, a great day. I don't know what she'll say, but for our first time doing this, I give us a great day. So these were actually the handles that were on the dressers. Um, and so what I'm going to do actually with these is just clean them off. Um, so that way they, you know, look a little less grungy when you put them on. Um, I actually looked up on YouTube how to clean these and uh, I found a video where it's just, you put um, distilled vinegar, white vinegar in there. You just want to make sure that you have some good um, scrubbers there. So I got these coppers um, for that as well. I'm actually going to let these sit in here for quite a while. So as we do the paint, I'll make sure to let these sit and then I'll go in with the scrubs. Now, if I could just get this open. Oh, it's one of those ones. Fun times. So I'm just gonna pour this in there, kind of fill it up with the handles. Gotta love the smell of vinegar. I'll just spread those out so they're evenly distributed there. Okay, let me get some. Well, I'm just gonna take that and put that to the side for now. There, we're gonna jump over to paint. So, got another one of these out. And now, going to paint it. And I selected this paint color and I love it. Um, so let's get into this bad boy here. So this color is actually going to be called, I believe, um, it is Night Magic is what it's called. So definitely beautiful color, very dark blue. If you didn't know, which you probably didn't know, my favorite color is blue. So. Uh, but this
can see it's the next day. We actually ended up letting the paint dry overnight. We needed to actually do more than just two coats. It ended up being like two plus touch-ups, which turned into three. Um, we still do have a lot of parts that need to be um, touched up as well. Uh, we're not professional painters, so please don't hate on us for this. Um, but uh, honestly, I really enjoyed the process. I had a lot of fun doing it. And I mean, if there's any, ever anything that you um, thought about doing, maybe it was a big project, maybe it was even a small project and you kind of like didn't do it just because you didn't think it would turn out that well. Um, honestly, I challenge you to take a stab at it, um, do it, because you never know what could happen. Um, even if it might not turn out the most amazing way that you thought it would, at least you tried. Um, and maybe you'll have a lot of fun doing it. So definitely, definitely advise that um, you get out there and try something new. Um, this, we put a lot of love into it. Um, and I definitely, definitely would do it again. So. Thank you so much for watching and following along on this journey. Um, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, and take a look at this beautiful dresser.